Pluto, that mysterious celestial object in the distant reaches of our solar system, has aroused great interest in the field of astronomy. Recent reports suggest that it may encounter Neptune, which has generated concern among scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Prominent voices such as Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have issued warnings about the possible implications of this cosmic event. However, how did Pluto end up on a collision course with its planetary neighbor, and what could this collision mean for life on Earth? As we seek to understand how something as large as Pluto could collide with Neptune, scientists are unsettled by this cosmic anomaly. Although once considered a full planet, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet because of its unique characteristics. Despite this downgrading status, Pluto continues to captivate and intrigue the astronomical community. Experts such as Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have expressed concern about Pluto's possible trajectory, suggesting that in an imminent collision with Neptune could have significant consequences for Earth. Pluto's path around the Sun is exceptional in our solar system because of its unique characteristic. Since its discovery in 1930, this small planet has spent only a fraction of its long orbital period of 248 years. Most notable is the elongated shape of its orbit, which deviates significantly from the circular orbits of the larger planets. This inclined orbit, which departs from 17 degrees angles from the planet of the ecliptic, introduces additional complexity to its orbital pattern compared to other planets. A fascinating aspect of Pluto's orbit is its periodic intersection with Neptune's orbit, which occurs approximately every 20 years. During these interactions, Pluto ventures closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying expectations based on their relative positions in the solar system. In addition, Pluto's elliptical orbit, which resembles an oval shape, causes variation in its distance from the Sun throughout its journey, ranging from approximately from 30 astronomical units a year to more than 49 astronomical units at its farthest point, nearly twice the distance of Neptune from the Sun. The inclination of Pluto's orbit relative to the orbits of the major planets adds complexity to its trajectory and affects its interactions with other celestial bodies, especially Neptune. When Pluto and Neptune intersect, the gravitational forces and influence each other, altering their trajectories in a dynamic cosmic dance that underscored the interconnected nature of our solar system. Recent advances in observational technology have allowed astronomers to more accurately track Pluto's motions, contributing to a deeper understanding of its orbit and its possible implications for the stability of the outer solar system. Although the possibility of a direct collision between Pluto and Neptune remains remote, it cannot be completely ruled out, which maintains the interest of the astronomical community. Despite its small size and distance location, Pluto remains an object of attention and curiosity among scientists. The question arises as to why a collision between Pluto and Neptune has not occurred, and the answer lies in the gravitational influence of other planets. Scientists began studying Pluto's orbit soon after its discovery and were puzzled by its deviation from the elliptic plane in which most planets orbit the Sun. While most planets orbit in a relatively uniform plane, Pluto stands out because of its oval orbit and steep angle. The mystery deepened when it was discovered that Pluto's trajectory intersects that of Neptune. Despite these complexities, Pluto's orbit has remained stable. Space mechanics involves understanding how three celestial bodies, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and interact gravitationally. This presents a challenge similar to predicting the motion of these bodies based on their mutual attractions. To solve this cosmic puzzle, scientists use terms such as azimuthal liberation, latitude liberation, and VZK oscillation. Azimuthal liberation ensures that Pluto stays above Neptune's trajectory at a 90-degree angle, reducing the risk of collision as Pluto approaches Neptune or other large planets. The latitude release ensures that when Pluto approaches Neptune, it is above its trajectory, 
also reducing the risk of collision. The VZK oscillation, named after scientists Von Zippo Leo and Kai, explains why Pluto's orbit appears strange but remains stable over time, despite the apparent chaos in space. Although space may appear chaotic, there are patterns and rules that keep things in order. These laws keep Pluto's orbit stable, avoiding collisions with Neptune or significant changes in its trajectory. Orbital chaos illustrates how the trajectory of a celestial object can be extremely unpredictable, and Pluto is a prime case in point. Even small variations in its velocity can perturb its object for long periods of time. Scientists use computer simulations to understand how Pluto moves in space, using complex mathematics to model interactions with other space objects such as Neptune. These simulations have revealed that even small perturbations can significantly affect Pluto's trajectory as observed in the late 1980s. Despite this apparent chaos, Pluto's orbit remained stable for billions of years, suggesting that, although it may appear chaotic, it follows some kind of predictable order. However, orbits like Pluto's are so unpredictable that making long-term predictions is difficult. Understanding Pluto's orbit is crucial, especially in terms of possible future collisions with Neptune. This understanding helps us better understand the workings of our solar system and how seemingly erratic orbits can be kept in equilibrium due to gravity and motion in space. Although Pluto and Neptune may appear to be on a collision course at certain times, their orbits are actually choreographed by gravitational attraction reminding us that space is full of surprises and that what appears to be chaotic sometimes follows surprising patterns. At first glance, the study of Pluto's orbits reveals the intricate mechanics that govern our solar system. This ongoing process of observation and analysis is fundamental to expanding our understanding of the universe and our place in it. Imagining a collision between Pluto and Neptune would be a cosmic event that would alter our understanding of the solar system, underscoring how much we have yet to learn about space. Studying how the large planets affect Pluto's trajectory offers valuable clues about the workings of our solar system, demonstrating how the position and motion of each planet can influence the trajectory of other celestial bodies, despite the complexity of space. Some scientists express concern about the possibility of a collision between Pluto and Neptune, raising questions about how and why it might occur. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a renowned space scientist, argues that reclassifying Pluto as a dwarf planet rather than a full planet is a step forward. Tyson argues that we are always discovering new facets about how objects move in space, and Pluto's peculiar trajectory is a reminder of how much remains to be discovered. For Tyson, the mysteries of space are what make the study of the cosmos so exciting. Tyson strives to help people understand to the wonders and the quirks of space and worked with other scientists to raise awareness of potential dangers associated with Pluto's unpredictable trajectory. His goal is to highlight the importance of discussing how space mechanics can surprise us and how we must be prepared to understand and meet the challenges posed by the vast universe. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share it so it reaches more people, and turn on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.